Well, good evening, everyone. How are we doing tonight? It is our June 4th uh, Board of Directors meeting for the Delta Amateur Radio Club. Uh, we'll get kicked off here. Let's do a quick roll call. Uh, uh, the one thing I'd ask real quick is let's uh, speak slowly and clearly, and that's mainly directed at me. Our Secretary Perry is absent today, so he's going to be doing this from the reporting. So uh, Joe Plunk is here. Uh, Perry Hayes is absent. Jim Martin is absent. Joe Lowenthal here. Mike Harrison. WA4 OVO. Present. Uh, John Reiners. Present. Scott Adams. He's here. I mean, he, he must be coming off mute. And then uh, Dan Fleet. Present. All right, guys. Appreciate that. Uh, so we do have a quorum. Uh, we'll take a minute and roll uh, through the... Uh, I do have an agenda. Everybody can see that. Uh, did remind everybody and wanted to say that Perry's out, so we're going to make sure that we speak clearly for our reporting. Uh, the past board meeting minutes, do, does anybody have any uh, objections or discussion around the approval of our past board meeting minutes? No. Nope. All right. If there's no discussion, I would entertain a motion to approve those past board meeting. Now, those have also, well, yes, those have already been approved. Uh, this is... Um, out of a little out of order, I do apologize. We need to talk about the membership minutes uh, for that was submitted by Perry via email. Uh, is there a motion to approve the membership meeting minutes as submitted by Perry? So move. Joe Sorry, Lowenthal Joe has Lowenthal. made a motion to, to approve the minutes uh, seconded by Dan. Uh, all right. All in favor, say aye. 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 Okay, the motion to approve the membership meeting carries. Um, Jim is out, uh, so let me pull up the information that he sent for our membership renewal. So pause for a second. Can everybody see that? No. Your agenda is still uh, on. All right, one moment. Usually, right, everybody see that? Yeah, there it is. Absolutely. You just have to switch. Um, so we've got, uh, for our membership renewals, um, we have three renewals. Dave Church, 84Q. Chuck, I'm going to mess Pick. up his name. Pig U. Pick. Pig. Pick. At KK4NEO. Pick. Thank you. Uh, Kevin Buddle, Bud. Buddy. KY4, buddy, okay, KY4MI. Those are renewals. And then we've got new memberships for a GMRS license for Bill Matthews, and he's WSCF624 for his GRMS. And then Mike Albanetti, KD4IHT, is a prorated dues. Bill was also prorated. Uh, Ron Bropst, KN4KUQ, was prorated. And then KQ4TBI, Chuck Baker, uh, is a dues waiver for attending a dark class. Uh, any objection to approving those new memberships and renewals? I would entertain a motion to approve those, please. I make a motion to approve the, uh, the applicants as presented. Second. All right, motion made by John Reiners uh, to approve the membership applications as presented, seconded by Joe. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Fantastic. All right. Let uh, share. All right. Um, 
The Treasury report as submitted, let me share that out real quick. Here is the Treasury's report as submitted by Jim. Um, everybody's received this by email. Are there any questions regarding the Treasury's report? Yeah. No. All right, hearing none, uh, I would entertain an, uh, a motion to approve our treasurer's report as presented. I make a motion to approve the treasurer's report as presented. Second. Seconded by a uh, motion made by John Reiners to approve the treasurer's report as submitted and seconded by Mike. Uh, all in favor, please say aye. 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 All right, motion carries. Easy peasy. All right. Um, no, no new bills. Uh, John, just real quick, if you could refresh our uh, memory on our topics coming up for the June membership meeting. Absolutely. We have Ray Miller, AA4UK. Going to do a presentation on fox hunting. Not sure what to name it. How to kill a fox without a license, but we do have licenses. So uh, don't need a hunting license, just a ham radio license. Um, then Steve Frazier is going to talk about N3FJP, uh, since that will be the software we're using for field day. And this is the last meeting before field day. And uh, finally, he's going to shamelessly plug our YouTube, Facebook uh, presence, uh, just to let people know that uh, check on what's happening with Delta Club uh, via those two methods. Excellent. That sounds like a, a, a nice presentation. Uh, good two sessions. Uh, let's not forget about HAM 101. Uh, HAM Hilliard's running that at 530. I think, uh, I don't remember what he's running for this month's topic. I apologize. I had forgotten what he said he was going to do. Um, but that's at 5 30. Yeah, I'll reach out to him and make sure we have uh have that captured in the announcements. Fantastic. Thank you, Mike. Uh let's roll into um uh, the uh, committee reports. Uh, I haven't heard it. Uh, our bylaws committee, Mary Jean, uh, she's probably gonna stand that up soon. She's recovering from school, so I have no update for that. Uh, Dan, you got anything on the repeaters? Oh, yes, lots of fun. Um, uh, we'll start with Brunswick. Um, and we were talking about the issue with the static just popping up, and Joe and I have been just trying to think of some things that we can do to test, leave a test running, measure. So we're, we're still batting around ideas for that. Um, I told, uh, talked to ComServe last week and told them to go ahead and order the, uh, UHF amp. Um, I got one from a member that was probably a 20 year old model of the one we were looking at and it's only putting out 50 Watts. So decided to go ahead and, and, uh, order a new one. Um, Joe Plunk and I went to Methodist North again. Um, we've, we've been a couple of times since the last meeting. The APRS uh, antenna, uh, the top two thirds of it is laying over on another roof. So we will, we'll, um, I'm going to order a replacement for it. Uh, the cost is going to be it. Looks to be um, they've used Hustler antennas up there, like uh, with the R7 G7s, and those are about three fifty a piece. Um, so I will order an antenna this month. Um, there was also noted that the two twenty repeater coverage is poor, so we we. Uh, 
swept that with a rig expert and the SWR on the antenna is like uh, 4.6. So when we go back to replace the APRS antenna, we're going to take down the 220 antenna and see what's wrong with it. Okay. It's all the fun I have. And, and oh, um, and this is kind of treasure slash general board, but it's something I've come across um, that we've been talking about with Joe and uh, Jim Martin is getting the certificate. Uh, what do you call it? The tax, tax exempt. exempt tax exempt certificate from the state. Um, we should not be paying sales tax on any of our purchases, either from DX engineering or Kroger or Sam's club. Anytime we buy stuff, we should not pay taxes. And, uh, but in order to do that, we need the tax exempt certificate and, uh, I think if Jim gets a little bit free, he has the login to the site and he can print one out. There may be a cost. If it's the first one we printed in four years, it is free. But if we are reprinting an existing one that maybe the previous board members had, uh, it'll be an extra cost. So um, I don't know if we need a motion to go ahead and authorize payment for something like that. If he comes across it or whether that just fits in the general administrative funds. Um, we can certainly talk about that. We do have, uh, the board does have a discretionary line item budget. We've used okay. about half of that. We do have some uh, budget that if we wanted to give Jim the flexibility to, to come out of the board discretionary, we certainly have that. If we wanted to create an extra item, we would need to approve that, is my understanding. Anybody else have comments or observations on that? It's always good to bring it to the board what the cost will be. Uh, so here's what I would suggest, uh, Dan. Let's have um, Jim uh, circulate that with uh, an email. Uh, that's something that we can certainly approve via a, a, you know, a simple email approval um, okay. amongst the board members. Go, he may be able to go out, as you said, and get that first one for free, and it be a non a, a trivial issue. On the interim, let's have him go find out how much it is circulated by email, and then we can approve via email. Any objections to that, everyone? No objection. Yeah. W once we get that, uh, you know, like if we buy a lot from uh, DX Engineering, I'll set the uh, my account up with that sales tax certificate on there, and then. Uh, we can bring the certificate to Kroger and Sam's Club, have them put it on file so that whenever we go and say somebody buys snacks for the meeting, they can present a card to look it up real quick and then we don't get charged sales tax. No, sales tax adds up. Uh, yeah, you spend. Thanks for bringing that up. 2000 in a year. That's $200. DX Engineering shouldn't be charging tax. They don't have a, a, a site in Tennessee. Um, in talking to the guy, they've been charging sales tax to people in other states. And I, Ohio may be required to do that. I don't know how that works. The, the tax laws got a lot, from my recollection, with e-commerce, they really kind of messed that up and went after some of those people across state lines. I don't, I'm not a tax lawyer, so I don't know for sure, but I just know that it, it got, it pretty much got to the point where everybody had to charge it for the state they were selling into. All 
All right. Well, Dan, thanks for bringing that up. Any ha anybody have uh, questions on the Methodist North information? Uh, just to clarify, Dan, I believe those purchases that you're looking for that antenna replacement, we would use right out of the normal repeater maintenance budget, if I believe. Would that be your expectation? Yes. Okay. Any questions, concerns, observations? Open to the floor. It might be good to get the serial numbers on the repeaters so Jim can have it for renewal, making sure that everything is in line for the insurance. Okay. Yeah, that's one thing that we need to do is an inventory. Okay. All right. Uh, I believe, Dan, everything that you needed is covered under either already approved budget or Jim's going to tell us how much it is and uh, circulate an email. I don't believe we have yeah. any thing that we need to clarify there. So new topics real quick. Uh, being respectful of everybody's time, especially Scott, since he's got some people waiting. I appreciate you, uh, Scott. Uh, last uh, few weeks, we approved via email circulation the Neshoba preamble. Uh, they are they asked for, and the board has our board has approved for them to conduct a monthly uh, net on the Delta Club six two five repeater out of the Germantown uh, site. Uh, they are intending to leverage All Star and Echo Link. Uh, that preamble was circulated to all the board members. A couple of revisions were made, uh, and, and uh, that was approved. Was there any additional comments or observations or discussion that anyone would want to make on that? All right, hearing none, uh, I don't have anything to report on the errors and omissions that I was supposed to be working on. I apologize. I have gotten just buried and did not get to make those additional contacts on Arizona Missions Insurance, so I'll have to circle back around to that. Let's jump into for just a few minutes about uh, field day. Uh, we've talked about a fox hunt. I don't know that we'll necessarily be able to do a fox hunt for this year. Um, Fred Miller and Joe Lowenthal and I met uh, last week out at the gazebo in the Germantown Municipal Park and had a, a good discussion. Uh, summarized a bunch of stuff, and I'm going to try to send out a summary email. I'll send that out when I create that. Um, I'm I'm going to, a couple of things that I will summarize. Uh, let's talk, I'll work from the bottom up. The stations that we agreed we're going to run are an 80 and a 15 station, uh, sideband, 20 meter sideband, an FT8, and that FT8 station is going to have whatever band's working for FT8 at the time. The CW station, whatever bands are available and working for the CW station, as long as they're not creating interference for the 80 and the 20 and the 15. And then our GOTA station can wander whatever band the GOTA needs to be able to make contacts on. Um, uh, we'll try to work with Rick and see if Rick will make a satellite contact for us. Uh, officially, our, our field day site will be a 4A. Um, I'm going to work. Uh, Fred mentioned that he had some publicity contacts due to the work that the Neshoba Club is doing with the charity horse show this week um, and the special event station that they're running. Uh, I'm going to try to work uh, and take a, a lead on creating some interest within the scouting uh, organization around the radio and electronic merit badge offer an opportunity for those scouts to come uh, work on the radio merit badge or the electronics merit badge and potentially even build a kit. Um, I found some really easy, simple, low budget kits uh, for them to be, potentially be able to build. Uh, I'm also going to try to get them to come out in uniform. And if we can and get them on the go to station, that actually helps us with bonus points because they're going to be under 18. So it will be youth making contacts. Um, any questions so far? 
Um, have they identified who the station captains will be for each station? Nope, that's the next thing that I was going to talk about is I've, I wanted to kind of have a concept of some, I wanted to put this out there, have a concept of kind of a team lead station captain um, for some of the areas. Um, we don't have a, an operator lead. I was going to reach out and see if Fred might have someone uh, within the show would be an op, take the operator lead. Um, Joe, I was going to ask if you would be the safety officer and safety coordinator lead. If you're okay, interested in, I'll do it. Be able to do the, to do that. Uh, Fred uh, Miller did volunteer when we were meeting with Joe that he would take care of all the food and we would split the food costs three ways. So there is a point that I'll need to ask the board for here in just a minute because uh, I don't remember something. And then I was going to take the team lead or the coordination on the, the scouts and the merit badges and the uh, kit builds and potentially one of the uh, cards that I want to put out there for that is I want to offer to uh, those that come out specifically targeting the 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. time frame, which is after dinner, but before the 8 p.m. net, come out, we'll pro help you program your HT and we'll get you on the net at 8 p.m. So I was going to take the lead on those three things um, as a personal interest of mine. Um, I do. I have not had a chance to reach out to Steve and talk about the logging infrastructure that we've current uh, that we've used in the past. Uh, considering that he's talking about it at our up uh, our June program, I'm hopeful that he'll be able to support us with uh, either the wireless router that we put in place so that we can all log or. Worst case, we all have to log standalone, and we combine the logs after the fact. John provided um, it. I believe John Reiner's yeah, did the yeah. I had a spare Wi-Fi last year. Yeah, I had one okay. with have internet access, but uh, it was just a just a standalone router with no yep. on it. So, John, would you be open to being kind of the team lead for the logging infrastructure, wireless infrastructure? Sure. Thank you, sir. I, I'm I'm taking copious notes. I'll, I'll send this up in a recap email. Um, one other thing that I did want to talk about, and I and uh, I don't remember, so I apologize. Uh, do we have a field day budget line item? Yes. Two hundred and fifty bucks. Two hundred and fifty bucks. I I fear that that may not be enough. Uh, thoughts on that, everyone? Historically, that's been for food for our share of the food. Mm -hmm. Right. Has that been enough traditionally? Uh, pretty close. Okay. One thing. So if we've got I, it, I saw minutes of MARA come out and one of the questions was were they even going to participate in field day so okay their, Dennis their has money committed that he, there. They, Dennis committed they were but they may have pulled that back um, I'll reach out to Fred and confirm that he has positive confirmation on that uh, and circle back with an email to the board shortly uh, we've got a budget item, should be enough. Um, if we need to discuss that after Fred's giving me kind of a feedback on what he's looking at for food, I'll bring that to the board for a quick discussion. Um, I was trying to, or thinking through about trying to create a, um, now that we've kind of got a captain or a team lead or a, a station captain, trying to create a, a sign up form so that we can try to get some idea of when people might come to work each individual station uh, so that it's not just a come and go. We have a little more definite uh, handle on when people are coming. Any, uh, and I'll try to circulate drafts of that shortly. All right, concerns, observations, additional comments. Well, Fred said he would, Neshoba would do 20 meter station. 
And Carolyn said she would do CW. Okay, I did have that in my notes, Joe, so I apologize that Carolyn would do the CW. Did she say how long she was going to work on that? No, she didn't. Okay, I'll reach out and clarify that. And Fred did say, I did have that in my notes as well, that Fred was going to do the 20-meter uh, station with Neshoba. So that leaves uh, 8015 FT8 um, and the satellite station, assuming that Rick's going to, Rick Tillman will probably do satellite, but we need to confirm that. Okay. And Goda. And the Goda, the Goda we can, is, uh, we can pick up. Hang on, just one. All right, I apologize for that. All right, I apologize, Joe. Did you have any additional observations or comments? No. All right. Uh, John, were you were you thinking you might do FT8 again this year? Um, well, I, I didn't do it last year. Um, okay. I would... Um, but if someone else wants to do it, that's fine too. Okay. We'll open it up and ask and get try to get some membership involvement in that. That's the goal, isn't it? Yep. That that's what we had last year. David Wilkie uh uh wanted to and did a phenomenal job and All right. So the just to recap real quick, uh Joe, you've got safety, Fred's got food. I'm going to run merit badges and HT programming. Uh, John, you've got logging infrastructure in a Wi-Fi environment. Uh, we'll, we've got a station lead is open. I'll see if Fred can get someone from the show to step into that. All right. Um, any other field day discussion? Would there be any objections if I did some recruiting for the State Guard uh, while I was there? None at all. I don't have any objection right, to that. Go for it. Yeah, we need we need radio operators, and so coming to a ham radio event would be the perfect place to recruit. So, okay, I'm gonna send that up to my command and see if I can get that approved. So, do we want to call the Delta Net that night from the site, from the field day site? We've done that in some years in the past. I'm totally on board with that. I have a, I would offer up, I have a home built uh, Yagi that we could use, or we could, we're out in the open, we'd probably be fine with an Omni. I'd be totally open to that. I guess we should talk to John Duty about that, see what he's, what his plans are. Because he's okay. our Saturday night rep. <laughs> Yes, sir. Uh, I'll ping. I'll try. I'll look his email up and see if he's interested or if he wants to sub that out. Okay. I think that would be fantastic to have a call from field day. Oh, I did have one other. I did have one other question around field day. Um, we get some significant bonus points if we run. Looking at the bonus points, um, if we run some message, some formal message traffic. Do, uh, does anyone want to uh, ask someone or step up uh, and run some formal message traffic from field day? What is, uh, what, what would that entail? ARRL message, Graham. Yep. To our section leader. Section manager. Yeah, section manager. I'm sorry. 
so someone from our club send that to him or yes dave thomas he he's usually open to receiving them via winlink which then means we use a digital station to do it Yeah, that, that single message gets 100 bonus points. And then we also can do NTS ICS 213 messages, uh, 10 messages for 10 points each up to another 100 points. So if we run an additional 10 messages via message trafficking. You know, Who do like, the 213s have to go to? Uh, Anybody. Let's see. They can go anywhere you want them to go. So. Okay, just just thinking outside. They just have to box. leave. And if we do it via WinLink, we could do a two thirteen message and just CC thirteen people. <laughs> or does that not count? Um, they don't explicitly exclude that. It, the only explicit thing is it has to leave or enter field day operation via RF. That's the only specific clause. So if we do RF wind link and compose a message, one message to 13 people, then that should suffice. 13 different email addresses. Which would originate as 10, 13 different formal messages. And Basically sending the same message. 15 Aries members. <laughs> yeah. So that's an interesting way that we can pick up an, uh, a little bit of additional uh, point standing. And remember, it's about having fun and learning skills. So, John, what we might want to do is if we know a specific time that we want to do that, I'd love to say, hey, from 8, 8.30 to 9 p.m., we'll run formal message traffic. If you've never run formal message traffic, come watch how we do it. Just trying to get... Uh, some people to kind of draw in at a particular time. Unfortunately, I'm not really proficient, but I can I can fumble along with Winlink. That's that's easy. Um, and Winlink offers the templates for ICS 213 and radiograms. So I'm sure I'm sure we can figure it out. It would be right. easier doing it digital than voice. I'll say that much. Okay. Oh yeah. We also get bonus points for solar if somebody's willing to do solar. Uh, true. Five times. Um, would minimum. you say again? Five contacts minimum solar, and you get 100 points. Well, not solar, just non petroleum power, non fossil fuel. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... So it sounds like I need to get my uh, my stuff together. <laughs> okay. Would you be willing to kind of take the lead on the message traffic since for, sure. for that? Sure. Okay. And please yeah, please gather more and, people in. That. Yeah, I'll go ahead and throw it out for uh, station captain FTA. What I can do is I can back my Jeep up to a parking space, hook up to my uh, Tar Heel, and operate from there. Okay, John, you're going to be our digital captain and solar captain. Or would you rather someone else be cold solar? No, that's fine. Been there, done that. All right. I don't have a t-shirt. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can get you one. <laughs> All right. Um, any other field day comments? My notes have increased. All right. Uh, Mike, uh, we talked about a little bit about a Sparks update reformat. Seven thirty-two. Uh, yeah. Conscious of time. Yeah, I've been uh, I've been working on the Sparks update, but you know this has been kind of a crazy month, so I haven't really done a whole lot there. Um, I've gotten a few things. Mr. Joe sent me several things over. Um, Perry sent me some, so I'll be working on that. But uh, I do have drill this weekend in Camden, so. Uh, if you can, if everybody can get me their stuff, you know, by Friday night, I can try to send it out and, uh, you know, try to get, um, 
you know, some feedback and then send it out on Sunday. Otherwise, it's probably going to be uh, Sunday uh, before I'm going to be able to get it out. All right. Let's do our best to try to get all of our notes and bulletins and articles over to uh, Mike by Friday this week so uh, we can get it out Sunday evening. And I'll work, uh, try to work a little I, bit each night to get that uh, updated as it trickles okay. in. Very good. I will point many fingers at myself to make sure that I get my stuff to you early instead of the last person. Yeah. No, don't want to call anybody uh, out. It's it's okay. Oh, I'll call myself out. I, I, I'll, I'll call myself out. Guilty. Uh, any other Sparks updates? Right. Uh, nothing, nothing further. Sorry. No worries. Um, training class, Joe, in Huntsville Ham Fest. Uh, training class, uh, it's July and August. Uh, from July the 8th to August the 12th, it will be at the uh, Memphis Police Department Appling Farms Station uh, from 6.15 to 9.30. Uh and I've just got that confirmed yesterday afternoon. I sent it to ARRL to put in the class uh, notices. Uh, I'm not sure when that will be uh, able to get active in, on ARRL, but let's hope shortly. Now I'll get out a, a, an email to the list of people that I've got that have said they wanted a class and, uh, uh, hopefully we'll get 10 to 15, maybe 20. I, I try to keep it to 15 people. So it, it's a, more of a personal nature than uh, than a mass nature. I found 15 keeps it is about right. Usually if I have 15, uh, I'll wind up with 10. Uh, anyway, uh, Huntsville Ham Fest, we got 14 reservations with Joe and Dan's uh, saying they want to go. Four of them are paid. So uh, we will uh, work it at, uh, at the meeting uh, on the 11th. All right. 120. Fantastic. 120. Yeah. Thank you, sir. All right. Um, Actually, it's 99 until any... July the 31st, and it goes up August 1st. And we have until the 3rd of August to pay for the bus. When is the payment for the bus? Bus payment is due August 3rd. Okay. Very good. Real quick note, if anybody has any questions or uh, would like some pointers on our Google workspace, our shared drives, email addresses, distribution loops, please let me know. Be glad to offer that as a uh, hands-on quick share. Did that with uh, Mike and worked out great. Did it with some others and it's been great. Um, great resource that Google's made available to us for no cost as a nonprofit organization. Yeah, um, I, didn't, I don't want to forget about him. Sorry, I didn't get any ahead, bounce backs. Um, you know, from the last last time I sent those out, I did get one out of office. So if you ha hear any complaints about not getting the email, let's make sure that you know we kind of address them. But you know, it's it's probably just going to spam or junk or something like that. But uh, so anyway, uh, it yep. was really nice sending them off from the Sparks email address. Yep. And Mike, I do want to circle up with you on that. Um, and I'll circle up with you after the fact. Uh, I okay. had an, uh, an observation based on something that I learned about the Google email sending. Okay. Um, but I'll I'll, I'll uh, call you a little bit later on that one. Okay. The Thank spreadsheet, you. Joe, that you uh, – uh, just a real quick point. Um, the spreadsheet, Joe, that you maintain of the email addresses, 
that would be a fantastic spreadsheet for us to put into a Google Sheet and collaborate on, because then it would just it'd be evergreen and always correct. Uh, think about that. We could share it as uh, either Mike could share or you could share it as the into in what the, sheet uh, training into a Google Sheet. Oh, uh, it's okay. basically an Excel spreadsheet, and it's uh, online. It backs itself up. It's always yeah. current. You just go in and make changes to it. You know, that's uh, actually the um, publications director's job. Mr. Joe kind of took that over whenever he started sending out from the W4BS. Okay. So I don't know if Mr. Joe wants to continue that. If he does not, you know, then, you know, I'm happy to take that back over because it really, you know, it is uh, okay. in the, the director of publications, I guess, scope of work, but it's whatever Mr. Joe uh, wants to do there. Um, I'm happy to support okay. Yeah, that we could put that uh, sheet out there, Mike, and it'd be a, a great way to use the, the Google Sheets and just have that document be an ever, you know, a, an evergreen kind of sheet. Right, because yes, Perry, you know, because Perry sends out the new email addresses, and you know, we normally add mm -hmm. that to new members and stuff like that. And uh, I know that Mr. Joe always adds stuff for his class participants and things like that. So uh, it might be a really good place to 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 keep that so it's easy for any of us to add to. Absolutely. I'd love to see that. All right. Um, I do want to just mention, I'm not going to try to dive into it deep today, but after field day, I'd like for us as a board to circle back around to ham club online. Uh, we talked about it at the beginning of the year, I'm just putting a pin in it. We'll come back to it. Um, real quick. Uh, does anybody as a board member have anything that they haven't, uh, we'll, we'll abbreviate our reports this way. Does anybody have anything they'd like to have from uh, kind of an open floor conversation that they haven't already talked about to the rest of the board? Just uh, raise your hand and let us know and we'll run through that. All right, I'm not seeing any hands, uh, so I think we've covered everything. Mike, this was a leftover slide from last month. I didn't know if you wanted to talk about any of it or if you had any updates. I didn't pull it. Uh, no, you can trash it. Okay, very good. Uh, we don't have any old business, um, and that's all we have that I had on the formal agenda. I'll open up the floor for anything that I might not have known about real quick, and then we can um, get done almost a little over an hour, actually about 40 minutes. You're setting a new record. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm trying. You are. You are. Appreciate you everybody's are. help. You're doing a fantastic job. We really appreciate it. All right, I would entertain, since we haven't had any other additional topics, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion that we adjourn uh, this month's board of directors meeting. Second, WA4OVO. All right, so Mike has m made a motion to adjourn, seconded by Joe. Uh, all in favor, please say aye. 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 All right, the motion carries. Uh, the meeting is closed at 7.41 p.m. Thank you, everybody. Awesome. Thanks, everybody. Thank, Thank you, you, everyone. Bye. See you Appreciate next week. your time. See you next week. Yeah.